Yo, check it out. I got four keys to a successful podcast, and this is Podcasting 101 with Zachary Babcock. Let's go. Yo, 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 what up? Yo, check it out. Before we get dived deep into this, if you're just starting out as a podcast, you're kind of a newbie, or if you're looking to actually launch one, you definitely want to check out my podcast roadmap. I'm going to link that up in the description below. What that does, it's going to take you from literally having nothing, no equipment, software, not having an idea of how to podcast all the way to having your show up and running on iTunes and all the major directories. Dude, I did over five years of my life in prison before turning my life around, and I became an entrepreneur, and for years I struggled. Nobody ever wanted to collaborate with me. Anytime I tried to collaborate with somebody, uh, nobody took me seriously, man. I was just that ex-convict turned entrepreneur afterthought that literally nobody gave the time of day to. And then I launched my podcast, became a top 200 rated podcaster on the third day and uh, the week later we had Billie Jean's marketing on the show and we've been interviewing celebrity after celebrity ever since and my brand has skyrocketed large uh, part due to my podcast. So I literally went from in, in a week's worth of time, nobody wanting to collaborate with me, nobody giving me the time of day to interviewing celebrities within one week all through the power of podcasting. Now let's get into these four W's, these four keys is, the, dude, if you get if you nail this down, your show is going to go to the next level because you're going to be building a really powerful audience. So let's dive into it. I got a video that I shot in Vegas a few months back where I just really nailed it and broke it down really completely. So let's dive right into that video. Yo, 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 you want to know how to launch a top shelf podcast? Let me tell you the four W's to long-term podcasting success. Look, man, a lot of people always come to me and they want to know like all the cool stuff. Uh, about how to uh, interview celebrities, how to get your podcast ranked in the top 200s, which is all cool, and that's stuff that you should be doing with your podcast. But if you don't have these four Ws locked in, then you're not going to have long-term podcasting success, and you're not going to be able to get to that level in the first place. My name is Zachary Babcock. I'm the host of the Underdog Empowerment Podcast. I interview celebrities, professional athletes, and industry leaders, and I launch Top Shelf Podcasts in five weeks or less. So here it is, man. Before you get to all that cool stuff, which uh, I do teach all of my students, you gotta have these four W's locked in. And what those four W's are first is, what is your podcast about? You gotta be able to communicate that in one sentence or less. So when people ask you about your podcast, you clearly communicate what it is that your podcast is about. If you go on Facebook, you'll see all these people with these bios are like, I help you find the inner self to bring out the real you, or what the hell is that even mean? What is your podcast about? Be able to communicate that very clearly. Communication is just like baseball and baseball, a bad throw in baseball can cost you a run, a couple of runs. It could potentially even cost you a couple of games. And that's the same thing in podcasting. People search a keyword, land on your podcast. First thing they're going to do is look at your artwork. Then they're going to read your description before they even hear about you if they have never heard about you before. And if you don't clearly communicate what it is that your podcast is about, they'll keep on moving. They'll keep on rolling. And you could have potentially missed out on someone that could have been a raving fan that would have shared all of your podcasts with all their friends and brought you so much listenership and customers to your podcast. So that's number one. What is your podcast about? The second W is who? Who is your audience? Obviously, if you don't have an audience, you're just speaking into a microphone full of air. So you got to get really clear on who it is that you're serving with your podcast. It's a lot like business when you make out your customer avatar. And uh, for an example, in e-commerce, you might have a customer avatar. You might have a bunch of different customer avatars. You might sell expensive phone cases, people or t-shirts or whatever, and you might have multiple audiences and you necessarily don't have to be the face of your business. You could just be running ads to people. Well, it's kind of like that in podcasting where you get really clear on who it is that you're serving. But the difference is, is that you are the face. You are the voice of the podcast and people are coming to podcasts for you. They necessarily don't have to like you, they could hate you, but they, they come and check your podcast out because they want to hear your thoughts, opinions, and views, and perspectives on whatever it is that your podcast is about. So get clear on who it is that you serve. And what I recommend with your podcast, you can't fake and be something that you're not to someone. So talk to who you were yesterday. If you're an e-commerce, let's go back to that example. If you're doing an e-commerce podcast, obviously you're really passionate about e-commerce. So you could be sharing everything that you know and that you're learning about e-commerce with your audience and you're speaking to who you were yesterday. That's the second W. Who is your podcast for? The third is where? Where are you taking them? Everybody needs a fearless leader to get behind. And you need to be able to articulate a future that they have hope in and that they also desire. It has to be a future that they have hope in and a future that they desire. People that fear the future tend to get paralyzed and they don't take action and they don't move forward. But if you give them hope in the future, that renders them perceptive to change. So clearly articulate 
where it is that your podcast will take them. What's the mission? What are they going to get? What's the benefit from listening to your podcast? That's number three, the where. And the fourth W is why. Why should people listen to you? Let's go back to that e-commerce example. There's, let's say you got an e-commerce uh, podcast. There's hundreds, if not thousands of e-commerce podcasts out there. So why should people even tune into you in the first place? Well, the first thing you got going is you're you. You're uniquely different. Everybody's created you uniquely different. So that's great. You got a head start there, but that's not enough. So what can you do to separate yourself from the other podcasters in your space? What I do with each and every one of my students that comes through is I have them do this exercise where you list out the top 10 e-commerce podcasts in your space. And then now you have that list of podcasts that you can go on and also invite the host to come on your show. But more importantly, you can look at those podcasts, tune into them and figure out what they're doing and then come at it from a unique angle. With me, I hit on the why in the first sentence I say from living in prison for over five years of my life with convicts to rubbing elbows with multimillionaires every single day. I'm a student of psychology, business and marketing with a unique, broad perspective from both extremes of life. Now, obviously, you might not went to prison like I have and might not have like that unique why you should tune in, but you do have a way. You might be very polarizing in your topics versus everybody else's real cut and dry and professional, or you might be really good at injecting humor throughout the podcast. Now you're entertaining and educating at the same time. So you got to find out why. Yes, sir, yes, sir. If you dig those four tips, if you dig the video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't, man, hit it with a thumbs down. Let me get some feedback. Let me know in the comments as well what you liked about this video or if you're struggling with anything or if that uh, if those four W's made sense or if you have any questions, I'd love to clear it up for you in the comments and make additional video content for you. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel if you're digging what we're throwing down to build a passive income business and definitely check out that podcasting roadmap that is linked up in the description below. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Peace.